Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test 2 for the uh, EOC in Tennessee. The question, uh, question number 49. The question says 24x minus 10 is less than or equal to 46 is less than or equal to 34x minus 14. And as you can hear, my voice is about to fade off, so I'm going to hope that I make it through this thing. Now, the reality is when I have two inequalities like this, here and here, this is a compound inequality. So I like to think of these like cat dog. The part in the uh, cat dog's this old cartoon. If you haven't seen it, you can just Google it or whatever. But uh, cat dog has one body, and at one end is the cat's head, and at the other end is the dog's head. So I kind of keep the body in the middle, and I like to think of it one side as the dog and one side as the cat. So the reality is the part in the middle, I'm going to use twice. So I'm going to do 46, and then over here between my two problems, I'm going to have 46 on this side as well. Now, uh, the left side is the cat. So I just bring down 24x minus 10 here, and it's less than or equal to 46. I just basically keep it all the same. And on the other side, 46 is less than or equal to 34x minus 14. Now, the reality is it's just two-step equations at this point, so it's not really that difficult. It looks difficult at first, I guess, but it's not. It's just they're just trying to make you nervous, I guess. So draw your line. Uh, I'm going to move the thing that's furthest from the x, but on the same side of this line. So I'm going to move this minus 10. So in order to do that, I need to do the opposite, which is plus 10, of course. So I get 56. Now I'm going to get rid of the times 24, and I know it's times because it's touching the x. So I divide by 24. And 56 divided by 24 is uh, 2.3, so somewhere in the range of 7 thirds. This is positive, so I do not need to flip over that inequality. So I'm looking for something that says x is less than or equal to 7 thirds. Well, I mean, theoretically, there's only one seven positive 7 thirds on there, as far as I can tell. So you're pretty much jumping on the fact that 49 is probably b. Incidentally enough, it is. But let's do the other side just for, you know, make to make sure that it is. So in this case, the thing furthest from the x, but on the same side, is, of course, 14, because the 34 is touching the x. That's pretty close. So I'm going to add 14 to both sides to get rid of that minus 14. And I get 60 there. Bring down my 34x. This is a uh, times relationship between the 34 and the x because of the fact that uh, in, if they're touching, they're multiplying. Divide by 34. We used to say hamsters touch, they multiply. Because if you ever had hamsters, and you have uh, a girl and a guy, pretty soon you'll have a bunch more because they're multiplying. Anyway, um, these cancel out. Bring down x. 60 divided by 34 comes out to give you somewhere in the range of 30 over 17. And in this case, once again, I'm dividing by a positive, so I don't need to flip it. So x is greater than 30 over 17, and it's uh, less than 7 thirds. In order to set it up to make it look nice, they tend to put the number that's the biggest, which is 7 thirds. For, uh, at the right side, the smallest number is here. And then you just kind of look at the relationship they have with x. This one is less than or equal to x. This one is less than or equal to 7 thirds. So my answer is b. So when you get this type, don't freak out. Just split them into the cat-dog situation, and you should be fine. Good luck.